Here's some notes on flow volume loops. In a normal flow volume loop, you'll have a quick peak flow in inspiration and in expiration, as I'm tracing inspiration here and expiration here. After expiration, you'll have a gradual return to zero flow, and you'll have no significant plateaus on either the inspiratory side or the expiratory side. There are some pattern changes with pathological conditions, and it's worth knowing them. If you have a variable intrathoracic obstruction, this can be a distal tracheal tumor or a medial stinal mass, you'll have a normal inspiratory curve, but you'll have a plateaued expiratory curve with decreased flow. So your expiratory curve will have a plateau, and it doesn't reach this peak expiratory flow. So normal inspiratory curve with a plateaued expiratory curve. This worsens with expiration because you have positive intrathoracic pressure. On the other hand, if you have a variable extrathoracic obstruction, this can be a vocal cord issue or a proximal tracheal tumor, you'll have a normal expiratory curve, as we shown back here, and you'll have a plateaued inspiratory curve. So this inspiratory curve will have decreased peak flow and you'll plateau and cut across the middle here. This worsens during inspiration because of negative pressure. So it's kind of the reverse, the reverse of what you would expect. Intrathoracic obstructions cause expiratory deficits, expiratory plateaus, whereas extrathoracic obstructions cause inspiratory plateaus. If you have a fixed upper or large airway obstruction, like a foreign body or a tracheal stenosis, you'll have plateaus on both. Uh, both inspiratory and expiratory phases are affected, and you'll have decreased plateaued flows in both phases. This will create a characteristic box-like appearance. So you can imagine that if you have a plateau on the inspiratory phase and then another plateau on the expiratory phase, you're really just making two plateaus and it kind of looks like a box. Lastly, there's a characteristic flow volume loop for COPD. In COPD, you'll have a normal inspiratory phase down here, and your expiratory phase will have a quick initial peak as normal, but you'll have a much lower than normal plateau phase. So instead of going down gradually, like we did with the normal pattern, you'll have a lower than normal plateau phase on expiration. This represents the dynamic intrapulmonary airway obstruction in COPD.